edit polyline edit okay click on it it's not a polyline you want to turn it into one yes I want a J for join okay and I want to join all of these okay then I am going to get out of the poly edit. I'm going to offset two inches. Okay. Okay. And that's going to represent my door. Now, if I have a window in this door, if I have, you know, embossment in this door, I could draw it. Okay. Now, uh, because my door is so high, of course, I need a landing and a set of steps uh, to go down. But for this for this tutorial I'm not going to bother doing that um, okay so there we, we've just developed the front elevation left rear and right side elevations um, they need to be finished um, there is quite a bit of other information for instance here I'm going to copy um, this text and I'm going to just put it right in that roof area okay I'm going to copy it again Okay, so down below I want horizontal siding, ED. Up here, let's say that I'm going to use asphalt shingles. Okay, I spell this wrong all the time. Asphalt. Okay, shingles. Okay, escape to get out of it. And I'll probably make this a little bigger to make it one line. I'm going to copy this text and just put it up a little higher ED I'm going to tell everybody that this roof is 6 colon 12 oh, I have such a hard time uh, colon finally 12 okay okay now I'm going to add some uh, hatch and so on okay I don't need this uh, block anymore so I'm going to erase okay so I've got the components other than cross-section and we'll leave cross-section till we actually do a real house um, but that typically is how we would um, develop our elevations from our plans okay um, we need to process this we need to print it we need to um, put it out okay and we need to set up we're going to use what they call piece space so I clicked on layout one okay this is paper space um, and guess what you can see a piece of paper well we need to set up that piece of paper to what we're going to plot to so um, here I'm going to go page setup. Okay, um, I'm going to modify. Okay, in my page, my layout, my page setup for this layout, um, I need to pick a plotter. And these are some of the plotters that I have on this little laptop. And I don't see my big one. I got the brother. Hmm, I wish I had the PDF. I wish I had cute. I don't see it. Publish to the web. DWG to PDF. Well, that's cool. Okay, well, let's try that one. Okay. Showing me right away that my paper size is, is letter size. It's 11 by... Um, Okay, I think I want to change that. Let's go down here and see what our choices are. Okay, well, we can go in the architectural sizes. This is D. It's 36 by 24 on a, on a larger house. That's typically what you would use. Um, on this house, we could use 11 by 17, 18 by 24. Hmm, we've got all sorts of choices in here. I think 18 by 24 here no, 17, 17 by 11 um, there it is okay now we're gonna keep it in uh, in this view what do you want to plot I want to plot the layout uh, I want to plot one to one because I'm going to scale my layout 
Okay. Um, okay. Okay. We will close out of here. Okay, so what we've got now is the paper is set up to 11 by 17. Now we're going to cut a hole in this paper. And this sounds a bit far fetched, but. Um, Just wanted to make sure my timer is still on. Okay, uh, we're going to use, we're going to make a view. Okay, basically we're going to cut a hole in paper space and go back into where we were, which is model space. Okay, so MV, make view. <clears throat> okay, so it's asking us, well, how do we want to do it? Well, I'm just going to pick, this dotted line shows my printable area. Um, and so I'm just going to pick just inside that printable area. Okay, what I've done is I've cut through paper space and I'm now in model space. Okay, so if I try to get into model space, I, I am S. Okay, model space. You can see how everything changes. My crosshairs are now in, and when I zoom, I can zoom back and forth. Okay, okay, you see what I'm doing? Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. We're going to go back into P space, so P S. Okay, now when I zoom, I'm actually zooming my piece of paper. Okay, so there's a couple of things that we can do. There's a number of ways of doing this, but uh, this is the way, just the way I do it. Okay, so um, P S, not P S. Um, I'm losing it here. I'm going to get into properties, P-R-O-P-S. Okay, I'm going to click on this view that I made with MV. Okay, so clip, no, display, annotate. Um, okay, standard scale. Standard scale is custom. Okay, let's change this to one quarter inch equals one foot. Okay. So, um, it's a big bit big for this paper. Um, okay, well, what we'll do is we'll change our paper. Okay, uh, there's a quarter inch per foot. That's what we want. Okay, so we'll go back into page properties. So I'm going to go down to layout and I'm just going to right click and page setup manager. And I'm going to modify. Okay, I'm going to keep the same printer. We're going to go to, we're just going to print out to a PDF file, see if that works. Okay, we're going to change our paper size. We're going to go a standard Arch D, 36 inches wide by 24 inches high. Okay, close. Okay, now we'll zoom down we'll, to the full size of the paper. Okay, there we have, we've made a view at a quarter inch scale. Well, we're just going to click on it. We're going to make it a little bit smaller, just so it encompasses that drawing. Okay, we can bring it down a bit. Okay, escape. We're going to move this view. Okay, and let's put it up here in this corner. We'll turn F8 off. Okay, let's copy. Okay, this view from here to here. Okay, and then another one there. And another one there. And there. And there. We've got six of them. Okay, now we're going to get into model space. So MS. Okay, that one looks good to me. Let's get into this one. Okay, and trying not to make it live. Okay. I'm just panning around inside this. Okay. Now we'll get into this one. And I'm going to move over. We've got that one already. Okay. So left side elevation. Now if I move this text in, I can make these a lot smaller. Okay. So we need one more elevation. Okay. 
Whoops, I don't have the text. Okay, well, I am going to go in afterwards. Okay, now here, if we go kind of up and over, there's our main floor plan. Okay, and on this one, again, we go, we just happen to know where they are in our drawing. And so we're going to go, there's my foundation plan. Okay, I am going to change the text. Okay, now, P space. Okay, so I'm back in paper space. I'm in my paper. Um, I can put a title block. You can see here I've left room down. I could draw in lines right on paper space. And uh, okay, let's do it. Let's rectangle. Okay, let's just draw a rectangle, something like. Okay, now I can take some text. Um, I definitely don't want to have it four inches high if my whole paper is only 24 inches high. Um, but I can put some text in here. Let's do that. Let's T for text. Okay. Um, see how big it is? Okay, let's try something else here. Okay, let's do D text. Dynamic text. Okay. Dynamic text. You can see down on my command prompt. I'm going to be able to set it up. Uh, okay, start point. I'm going to pick right there. Okay, rotation. I'm just going to accept zero. Okay. Um, it should be asking me for height. Okay, well, let's do half an inch. Okay, so 0.5. Ooh. Oh, I know, because I'm in arch four. Okay. Okay, so there's some text. Okay, let's get into properties. P R O P S. Now I'm going to click on this text. Okay, you can see here it's arch four, so I didn't I didn't have any choice. It's four inches high. Well, here we're going to make it 0.5. Okay, uh, that's still a bit big. Okay, let's go 0.25, quarter of an inch high. Mm, okay, that might be right. Now, the other thing I want to do, I want to escape out of here, so I'm blank. I want to pick all of these views that we made. And you can see they're on layer 0. Well, layer 0 will print. Okay, we're going to change it. And we're going to put it on layer depth points, definition points. Definition points do not print. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Now... So here's my text, ED. Okay. And I'm just going to put my title block here. Oh. Okay. Now, when I ED this text, it's different. I don't get the multi line text editor. This is just dynamic text. I didn't draw a box for it. Whenever you click on it, that's exactly what you get is the text. So there's, there's actually two types of text you can put in. Okay. Um, title block, so on and so forth. Select annotation. Okay, escape out. Okay, so we're pretty much ready to print. Okay. Um, PR. Well, PP, if I've set it up, unknown command. Okay, let's go plot. <clears throat> okay, so this is the plotting portion. We've already selected our printer. We're going to go to PDF. We've already selected our paper size. Okay, uh, the fact that we're going to plot this whole layout, um, page setup. Okay, now there should be another category in here um, to make it black and white. Okay, this is our full preview, and you can see we've got the colors. Okay, and I don't want the colors. I want to be able to print to black and white. So I'm going to press enter um, to get out of the plot preview. Now there should be a thing in here where I get to um, <coughs> anyway, that's good enough for this tutorial. Uh, we'll carry on when I figure out how this works. Okay.
Bye for now.